Atlanta, the new black Hollywood. Now, just a few years ago, Georgia would not have been a contender for a major filming production. But now, Georgia is number three in the entire nation, according to Film LA Not-for-Profit Film Office. So look out, LA. Look out, New York. Georgia's coming for that number one spot. Why? Why is Atlanta the new black Hollywood? Hmm, could it be the big film incentive reportedly bringing in billions of dollars to Georgia? Yes, billions. We have some incredible award-winning actresses, producers, and directors on today's show. You're going to have a blast. We are going to talk about Atlanta and the black Hollywood scene, the struggles in front and behind the camera, and how Georgia tax incentives is providing opportunities and more. Plus, In Contact has the most amazing show, because we were on the red carpet for the content creators of Atlanta Award Show. We'll be bringing you all the highlights. Stay tuned. Be informed. Be in contact. Be informed. You gotta know what's going on in our community. Be so together we can make a change. You and me. Be informed. Be informed. Yeah. Be in contact. Our first guest is a producer and director of Your Faith Farms and Thrasher. Plus, he's an assistant director with Tyler Perry Studios. Please welcome Jared Dunbar. The Mr. Dunbar. You know I had to say it, right? <laughs> How are you today? Great, great. Thank you great. so I'm much for you. joining us here on the In Contact <laughs> Show. You know, I'm going to shoot questions at you because everyone wants to know. Let's go. All Let's types go. of things. I mean, life behind the camera is so big right now here in Atlanta. Right. This is what, number three, I mean, yeah. for filming. So this is major. Right. You're at Tyler Perry Studio. Right. This is crazy. Everyone wants to know what's the or, how is it there? It's I mean, do you tell people that you work there? Yeah. I, well, I try. I try. To, that'd, be, that'd be like the last day I tell them because the first day if you tell somebody that, they'd be like, oh, how do I get it? How do right. I get it? Like and and that's, that's right cool, that, but I don't have that power to do that. But I, I try to, but I don't have the power. But I think uh, working there is like, uh, I, I don't know, just from Mr. Perry's point of view, like, just imagine if you came to work and everything that you see has your name on it, has a logo on it that represents you. And I just think that... Uh, anything that builds well or works well is all about the leadership. Right. And for us to move as a unit and him being a leadership, it just gets you know how how important he his leadership is, and and then it trickles down to mm -hmm. everybody else. So that's so you notice that that's a it's a presence there when you work with him yeah. and how he how you know how the whole scene is right. inside of that studio right. because it's the truth you said there's a what there's a there's a few great studios here in Atlanta yeah. but Tyler Perry Studio there's what they scream the loudest yeah they're the most very popular much so. very much so and imagine someone riding by on a Segway you just have a conversation somebody just zoom zoom by on the Segway and then oh that's Mr Perry you know he's cool yeah very comical he's a Big guy, but he has a great heart. Mm -hmm. um, and the uh, people around him, his team around him, mm -hmm. is is like no other. Like sixty pages a day is unbelievable. You're the team. Yeah, like that's yeah. you. This is why <laughs> you know. This is this is why everyone is just so in awe of all the things that you know you also contribute, especially now. Right. Let's talk about the whole tax break. Oh, tax incentive. Oh my yeah. goodness! I want yeah. you to break that down because I've never seen anyone break it down like you. Well, okay, okay. Well. I think um, the tax incentive has kind of attracted um, everybody to wherever city that tax incentive is, like a beautiful woman. It's like you date her if she moves, you go where she goes, you know what I mean? But the tax incentive, and then I break it down for a good just example. To get you. Good example. So let's say um, a production is in California, mm -hmm. and they want to film in Georgia, and the, the budget is $10 million. Okay. Instead of filming in L.A., you come to Atlanta, you send your crew here, send your production here, you hire a few people here in Atlanta, you use the locations here, and you still will come in under your budget if you stayed in LA. So if you spend $10 million here, uh, you get a 20% tax incentive, that's $2 million, and then if you use the Peach logo, you get another 10%, so that's another million. Wait a second. <laughs> Did you just now say, if you use the peach logo, say what? what? Yeah, the, the the logo for Georgia peach logo. Right, what I see all the time now. You see all the time, uh -huh. and that's the H production that um, come here and film. They use that, and that's a ten percent. They make another million dollars just for using. Yeah, if you have a twenty, I mean a 
ten million dollar budget. Right. Yeah. So let me ask you: Suppose I do some of my production here or my filming here, do I still make a certain amount of money? I mean, is it uh, and use the logo? Yeah, like, I, I, don't, I don't know the actual percentage of uh -huh. what you have to film here, but I do know that you make money. Filming but the here. thing with the, but with Georgia right now is. You can come here and film in Savannah. We have the beach. Just like if you was filming in L.A., they film Baywatch here um, in Savannah. You didn't even tell that it was Georgia. They ship in palm trees. You have a little, a little terrain of, 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 of mountain ridges and close to Tennessee line. You got the city skyline for buildings here in Atlanta, in the city. So you have everything here. That you, and then if you wanted to go backwoods or go with Walking Dead, right. you have that. So you don't have to leave the city. You don't ever have to leave here because Georgia has all of the backgrounds. Right, Is right, that what you're right, telling me? Right. And I think uh, Governor Deal, he kind of put that in. So anything that, that has to do with film, I think mm -hmm. the state is going to welcome it. Is that, <laughs> and is this benefiting you? Me? Directly. Yeah, yeah. I work, I have a job. Right? <laughs> and you're excited, and this is just every, I mean. Yeah, yeah, because when I went to film school, I think um, I always thought, okay, Film school, right. then take a trip out to L.A. or go to New York, and then try to go from there. But I was working in Tyler Perry before I got out of film school, and everything just kind of jailed, so I didn't have to leave. But and then I see people coming from L.A. or coming from um, New Orleans or from from Wilmington, and they're coming here. So I like, oh well, cool. I don't have to leave, you know. But I, I still want to go out to L.A. Yeah, and you California. still want to yeah, see, yeah. but I mean, you don't feel like you have to. No, no, not right. now, not now. Talk Talk to me about film school. You just mentioned that. How important is it now? I mean, someone could pick up the camera and say, hey, I can do this. Do I really need to go to film school? Uh, I think so. I, I, okay. If you ask me if, if, if I was a mechanic and you say go to film school, I'll, I'll go to mechanic school. I would say, yeah. Strictly because um, there's some technical things that you need to know. And gotcha. if someone like myself is looking at a production, mm -hmm. I don't look at the storyline. I look at technical um, and errors and stuff like that. So... Uh, to know those and grasp those things, mm -hmm. yeah, you do. But if you wanted to pick up a camera and you had your own style of filming and like you had three cameras set up, you can get everything you need. And I think the flow of it would be better if you learned from a school. So what would you tell an upcoming person who's getting involved in the entire industry, being that you get a chance to see every aspect, right. being a part of a team, like that, right. you know, that which you are a part of a big team. Right. What would you give, what advice do you give uh, the people, I mean, not even only uh, directors and I'm talking about even the actors, the whole arena. Okay. What right. advice? The advice I give yeah. people is to go buy a DLSR camera, uh -huh. get your uh, MacBook, yeah. <laughs> Final Draft, uh, writing software, Final Cut for editing, and Basically, you can get by with it. I guess it's a filmmaker startup kit. And anything that you film, you edit it, and you feel like you have to, and you have the, the mind to write, mm -hmm. you can write it, mm -hmm. you know? And you don't have to go that route of going to film school. But I think, yeah, I don't know, three, four generations of film school, and you get that knowledge. Yeah. If like any other university, you know, yeah. it benefits you. It benefits you. But it's $80,000, $90,000 is a lot. Right, it is. You're having fun. I see it. I see in your presence. I see in your personality. You enjoy yeah. what you do. I do. Well, I, do. I enjoyed having you here, and I can't thank you enough for joining us here on Contact. Yeah, I'll be back. Thank you. You promise? I promise. All right. Stay tuned. <laughs> well, this The show must go on. Red carpet, celebrities. Let's make it happen. Right. Only on In Contact.